Well, these are the ruby slippers from the MGM 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz. And the historical significance is matched by the emotional resonance that we have with our public in looking at these. They feel a real kinship with these shoes because I think the message of the film means a great deal to the public. The idea, there's no place like home. They remind everyone of their childhood. The thing that I find very interesting about these, we know them as the Ruby Slippers, but when Frank Baum, the original author of The Wizard of Oz, wrote the story, the shoes were silver. But Gilbert Adrian, the designer at MGM, in tandem with other technicians at MGM at the time, decided to make them ruby to cash in on the value of Technicolor that would make them have this iridescent hue. <laughs> her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. This is the Wicked Witch of the West. She's worse than the other one was. Who killed my sister? Who killed the Witch of the East? Was it you? No. No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to kill anybody. Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents too. Aren't you forgetting the ruby slippers? The slippers? Yes. The slippers. They're gone. The ruby slippers. What have you done with them? Give them back to me or I'll... It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Give me back my slippers. 